So let's go inside. Mm -hmm. Come on. It might have been even built during the Austria-Hungary Empire. <laughs> so that was the last time you saw it functional, guys. Oh my god. We cuddle first here in this bed. Hi, Hi guys. guys, I'm Tommy. And I'm Peter. Welcome back to our channel. You keep asking us to film a tour of our country house. Yeah, and we keep promising and then postponing it because there was always something more important to do. But now the summer is over and the harvest season is almost at the end. So we finally have time to slow down. Yeah, so here it is. Let's check out the house. Yeah, we hope you'll enjoy it. We are starting the tour here, uh, we are in our yard, it's great because it's very private here, we are surrounded by buildings from every side, so that's great, that's what we love. This is the gate where you enter the property, uh, this is the main house, which we are going to show you, it was built over a hundred years ago, so it's very old. Please don't expect anything fancy, it's not that great, really. Uh, there is a second house. Uh, my parents use it when they come here, so it's mainly for them. That's what we decided. And there, behind the second house, there is also a second door where you can enter the property. I think uh, we are going to show you all the other buildings later probably in another video because it would be too much so today we will focus on the main house so let's go inside mm -hmm. come on so this is our small corridor it's very small this room is totally impractical i don't know what were they thinking but this is basically where you take off your coats and take off your shoes, look how many there are. Here you have slippers, you put that on, and then you continue inside the house. What was this? Okay, so this is our electrical mess. There are all the circuits, it's very old. We don't know exactly how it works. We just know what to do when the power is out. So here we are in our kitchen. As you can see, again, it's not as modern as our kitchen in the city. Yeah, it's very old fashioned. Yeah, but it, it's nice. It looks like a cottage or something. So where to start? Here, on the couch. Yeah, there's a couch in our kitchen for some reason. It was already here when we moved in. You guys almost kept it here for us. It's actually where I spent my first night when uh, we took the keys. Yeah. So, <laughs> and yeah, this is the kitchen counter. There's a lot of various crap inside. All kinds of tools, some of them are here already. We have a microwave oven, which is probably the most modern thing in here. <laughs> that was brought here by Peter's parents. Mm -hmm. Electrical kettle. Yeah. We didn't use it in the city, so we brought it here. And this, honey? What's this? This is the newest edition. I bought this as a surprise for Peter, because we were saying that this kitchen is not very practical and there's stuff uh, lying around. So I bought this uh, spice rack mm -hmm. and I just filled it in with all kinds of spices that were here. Uh, we still need to put it on the wall. Mm -hmm. We want to mount it here, but we don't have the right equipment at the moment. We don't have a drill. Mm -hmm. And we've actually never drilled before, yeah. so we have to buy a drill and learn how to use it. Uh -huh. And we can put it on the wall. And there is one plant here. Yeah. Tell us about it. It's green. <laughs> it was here already when we moved in. Yeah. I don't know what, it, what it's called. It doesn't need a lot of water. Yeah. 
you just can forget about it and then once in a few months you water it and it still lives yeah. so that's great and look at this light it's actually from the city it's an office light we just put it here because there was nothing here and i didn't have enough light while cutting veggies for example here we have a sink i don't like it it's too small and we don't have a dishwasher so we have to wash the dishes manually here and the sink is too small but this thing this is something very practical because there was only cold water here and in this faucet there is a heater built in there is cold water and then on the other side it's hot water it's electrical and it shows you the temperature in celsius yeah so you have to put it into an electrical socket and it's great all in one we are making our homemade bread here in one hour and 15 minutes it should be done you can so, wait yeah we are looking forward to that and this is a stove it's an electrical one which is not that great because we are used to induction and that reacts instantaneously but this electrical one the reaction time is really slow yeah so what we do is that we pour the cold water from here we put it into the electrical kettle we let it boil there because it's much it's much faster and then we pour it into the pot yeah. and continue cooking yeah so great method <laughs> <laughs> and here is the oven like normal oven here again a radiator i sit here quite often on this little thing it's not comfortable but it's great to feel the heat on my back so i like that and here we have another sink yeah that's interesting yeah we don't know why but it's it's been here since the beginning uh, so this is our small bathroom i would say because we wash our hands here and brush our teeth and and where we have the cutting board of course <laughs> <laughs> we forgot to put it down it's just drying off here so it's not normally here i will put it down and usually it looks like this there is nothing there <laughs> So this is where we brush our teeth in the kitchen. Yeah, I already said that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sometimes during winter you can sit. Oh my god! <laughs> I destroyed it. I deconstructed the little chair. <laughs> so that was the last time you saw it functional, guys. Oh my god! I didn't want to do that. So I wanted to show you that you can sit here and just watch the yard. Okay. <laughs> and here we have some tomatoes that we brought from our balcony in the city, our own harvest. Mm -hmm. This very old fashioned radio. Hi-fi uh, system. Yeah, so that's from the previous owners as well. And this table. We brought a lot of CDs with us because when we started here, we didn't have internet connection or anything. So we were yeah. listening to our old CDs. Yeah, so a lot of Spice Girls CDs, like Emma Bunton, Baby Spice and Mel B. And everything looks Spice Girls. Ooh. And here, below the table, we have a bag where we put plastic waste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we recycle. And it's probably different in each country. For example, when we were in Canada or the US, it looked very different. But here we have, we sort plastic separately, paper, cans, glass, glass organic waste. Mm -hmm. And then you put the rest into the regular trash bin. Yeah, so you don't have that much regular waste. Right, yeah. because you recycle everything. Especially with the organic waste, because in the city we don't 
have any place where to put that, so it goes into the regular trash, but here we have a composter, mm -hmm. so there's not much left that would go into the trash bin. So we throw out trash, like, I don't know, a few times a year. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Here it's interesting. So I think that was the kitchen, and let's continue into the living room. As Peter already mentioned, the house is really old. It was built over 100 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> and at that time, people were just happy to have a house, right? They didn't think about all the comfort that we think about now. And I think it was being built in parts. Like, they built one room, then later yeah. something else. And like, it was a gradual process. Yeah, it looks like a puzzle. You can see that some places don't fit to each other, like there are steps between rooms and uh -huh. so on. Yeah, yeah. I think based on the age of the house, it might have been even built during the Austrian-Hungary Empire. 1910, probably something like that, yeah. So even before the First World War, mm -hmm. before the foundation of Czechoslovakia. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's crazy when you think about it. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow, so history yeah. all around us. <laughs> but. Other than that, the house is not that bad. It's connected to all the... How do you say? Your basic utilities? Uh -huh. Utilities, like electricity, the power grid. So we have electricity, we have water, the public water. And yeah, there's plumbing, so including waste disposal, for example, which is quite unusual for such an old house in such a tiny village. Mm -hmm. There is also heating. Yeah, central heating system. Mm -hmm. So, actually all the necessities are here. Mm -hmm. At the moment we are sitting in the living room on our sofa. Uh, when we bought the place, there was almost nothing in this room. So we didn't spend much time here. Mm -hmm. We spent most of our time sitting in the kitchen. Yeah. But over the year, we bought some stuff to make it more comfortable here and now this is really the living room where we live. Mm -hmm. Finally, because it wasn't that great in the kitchen, on the simple chairs, <laughs> it wasn't comfortable at all. So this is at least a bit better. So what do we have here? So let's, let's show you. Okay, come on. So this is the sofa we were talking about. I think we bought it at the beginning of the year, something like that. So this is now where I work. Here's my home office station. <laughs> and in addition, uh, you can make it into a bed. So when someone stays over, they can sleep here, which is quite useful. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a simple system. Yep, yeah, yeah, very easy to use. And you have some uh, space where you can store the pillows and stuff, comforters, so it's not in the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the other side too? Uh, yeah. Or not? yeah, it can also be open. Mm -hmm. There's just yeah, some blankets at the yeah. moment. Mm -hmm. Here's a lamp which we bought. I think we put it together in one of our first videos. Yeah, check that out. <laughs> Uh, this table, I think uh, Peter's parents brought it from Slovakia. Mm -hmm. It's an old, unused table, I think, right? Mm -hmm. So we are using it for board games. <laughs> this little cabinet was here already. We bought the place. You can see it's quite old. And Peter made it into an altar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there was nothing here. And I found these random things all around the property, for example, this vase is quite nice and these shelves and this is like the lamp from... Lava lamp? Lava lamp, yeah. It's ours, we brought it from Brno because we didn't use it there. Yeah. And this rocking chair, uh, this was already here. Because when we bought the property, we agreed with the previous owners that they would keep some of the stuff here. Mostly crap, 
but I wanted that because uh, it adds to the atmosphere of the old property. Yeah, we love crap. <laughs> You'll see. So this rocking chair, that was a nice surprise that it stayed here. And I can rock here. <laughs> That's why it's called a rocking chair, right? Yeah, rock on. <laughs> so let's rock. And they're all... Okay, here you can see a big radiator, normal heating. Now it's on because it's getting really cold. Here we have a sucking machine, <laughs> vacuum cleaner uh, and internet. We have internet connection. This is the hub. This is the newest addition to the living room computer. And now it's great here because this is where I spend most of my time just watching YouTube videos and being lazy and not doing anything. Yeah, and you saw us put it together in one of our recent videos. Mm -hmm. I think so, before that we had that little table in its place. Yeah, yeah. So that was already here too, this little table. And our pumpkin is still here after <laughs> Halloween. Still in good shape. This is a device that controls the heating. So you just put the temperature here you want to have. So now 20 degrees and it's 20 degrees. So the heating is off now. It works automatically. These are big wardrobes that have already been here as well. So we have some clothes up there. And what are the pictures? And the pictures. So these are our old calendars because Tommy is great. <laughs> he is a great husband. I know, right? And every year for Christmas, we get a calendar from pictures from the previous year, mainly. So this is? So this is from 10 years ago, our photo shoot. Look how young I was. We still look the both. same, right? Mm -hmm, totally. So, okay, that's it. And yeah, it only has two months. This is from 12 years ago. Ooh. I love this picture. That was our first fall together, first autumn. And it's a nice picture. And, and there are more calendars. Yeah, there are more. <laughs> because we've been together for 12 years, so we have 12 calendars. Yeah. We have a lot of calendars. Look at this, this is nice because it's Canada. Do you know which city it is? I know. <laughs> <laughs> but do they know? Guys, it's Vancouver. Ugh, spoilers. You, you all knew that. So we just brought the calendars because there was a lot of space around here and they weren't used in the city. So we just filled up the empty space. Some of it. Some of it. <laughs> and the carpet... Sucks. It, yeah, it sucks. And it has been here from the beginning yeah. of times. <laughs> yeah, probably. It smells. Yeah. We should probably replace it at some point. Yeah, we should. But I don't know, man. It's not a priority. Like, the interiors are not that important to us. Yeah. We bought it for the outdoors. Mm -hmm. For the outdoors, totally. So you just want to have things you want to have here, but we don't really care about the other things. We don't know what our plans are with this house for the future, because it would be easier to just destroy it. like And build it from scratch. Yeah, build a new one. because. Reconstructing an old house is very tiring and expensive. Everybody who's done it says it's a nightmare and yeah. they would never do it again. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to buy a lot of new stuff and do some smaller reconstructions and then destroy everything. Yeah. 
So we have to decide for the future. And that was our living room. And now let's head to our bedroom. We have to go through the kitchen again. And here we are. This is my least favorite room in the house, I would say. It's very impractical because it's very narrow. The doors are on the inconvenient sides of the room. Like you can't put a lot of furniture here because everything is in the way. Uh, we even had to split our mattresses and we sleep separately. So that's quite sad, but when you are asleep you don't really care. <laughs> And uh, I try to visit Tommy uh, every time before we go to sleep. We cuddle first here in this bed. And then I move here to my place. And it's so cold here, so it's a nightmare. <laughs> but last night I cuddled with you in your bed. Yeah, that was new, so I <laughs> loved it and I didn't have to go to the cold bed. We don't have normal beds. There is only a mattress and this thingy under the mattress. Uh, we didn't find an English word for it. So you tell us. Tell us in the comments if you know what it is. Look at my pillow. <laughs> Such a great cover. Uh, it's actually my t-shirt <laughs> because we brought the old one to the city to wash it and we forgot to bring it back. So I have to use my t-shirt now. This carpet here, this is the worst one. This one really stinks quite bad and the walls are in terrible state as well. Look at this, it's it's falling apart. But look at Victoria. Victoria Beckham is watching us. <laughs> She's watching over us. Yeah. There are some old decorations from the previous owners that mm -hmm. we didn't move. Yeah, and this old painting. That's quite nice. Little bookshelf. Bookshelf. Hi. Let's check out the bathroom. Ta -da. Yeah. <laughs> it's like in a horror movie. <laughs> Almost everything was here already when we moved in. The mirror, the sink. This is a report recently. <laughs> we were thinking how to improve the place a little bit because this house and especially the bathroom is very wet. Mm -hmm. So when we take a shower, usually the it takes like two days for the towels to dry off mm -hmm. so uh, we put them here now to speed it up yeah but there is hot water here yeah the hot water comes from our gas heater that's in the next room we'll show you in a moment mm -hmm. uh, there is a bidet here which is very bizarre yeah. for such an old house mm -hmm. without all kinds of amenities mm -hmm. but i love a bidet so i recommend <laughs> yeah, and the shower is here. Mm -hmm. So normal shower, like in the city. Yeah. So this is a technical room. Here we have a gas heater. It's working now. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so... It's for the heating system in the house and for the hot water. And it's connected to this chimney that we had inspected last time we were here mm -hmm. for the first time. Yeah. It's mandatory every year. Yeah. And the chimney man can do it from here, which is great. So he doesn't have to go on the roof. This is another heater. Yeah, an old one. Yeah. 
They used this one before the gas heater was mm -hmm. installed. But it's still connected and I think it could be usable. Yeah, this is another chimney, the mm -hmm. old-fashioned kind of chimney. Yeah, so when you have wood or coal or something, you can use this one, but we haven't tried that and I don't think we are going to. It's, it's very old, so... And this coat is from the previous owners, so I can go into the woods now and I can hunt yeah. or something. Mm. Great. Yeah. Awesome. So we can continue here. This is our toilet. So that's interesting that the toilet is here. You have to go from the bathroom to through the technical room and do your business there. It's quite far away from the living room, for example. So you can imagine you can't run at the last second. <laughs> so toilet, old fashioned one, but you can flush it and everything. So regular toilet. Okay, and let's continue here. This is our storage room. Everything uh, was here when we moved in. The, this wardrobe, even with some uniform. Look, look at this. So, wow. Even the trousers, but I'm not going to put them on. For spider webs? Probably. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Flashback to USSR. And even some wedding dress. Look, look at this. My sister put it on last Halloween. Not last, but in 2019. And yeah, look at the picture. And you can see there's another door here leading outside. So we have two entrances. Quite a maze. <laughs> so here we are back outside. So we entered through that door and we left the house through that door. So that was our house. We hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, as you could see, it was nothing luxurious. <laughs> it's very old. The next time we'll show you other buildings on our property, mm -hmm. like the guest house and uh, the barn. We'll see. Yeah, so we are going to wrap it up. So like this video if you liked it. Comment below and let us know what you think. Yeah, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future videos, mainly all the other buildings in the future. Ooh. <laughs> and see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.